In the first round playoff win over John Tyler, College Station rushed for more than 320 yards. Offensive line. I yeah. thought the offensive line took over the line of scrimmage that night in the second half. Give the running backs and big guys up front most of the credit. But one of the brains behind the Cougars' weekly game plan has been a staple in the coaching staff under head man Steve Huff for some time now. The one thing Kyle brings is, is super intelligence. I mean, they, they, he's, he's one of the smartest individuals I've ever come across in my life. Right in, right in. A former walk-on at the University of Texas, Walsh always knew he was destined to have football in his life. Started playing when I was six, and, and I always, you know, throughout college, I knew I wanted to be involved with it somehow, some way. It was in college, though, that the actual game was taken away from Walsh. A car wreck left the offensive lineman paralyzed below the waist. Sure, there's challenges uh, that I face every day, and there's challenges that, that I went through that, that were tough, but, but I wouldn't want to trade those tough experiences um, just because of uh, where um, the blessings that I've gotten through that. Spoken like a true champion. And Walsh is that, a two-time state champion to be exact. He won a title as a player with AM Consolidated in 1991 and most recently helped College Station win it all in 2017. For those kids to get to experience it was, was awesome. Um, and then as a coach to be able to do it, it was just something I'm very, very thankful to have been a part of. One day I thought about how many things he does. And I, I thought, what if I didn't have Kyle? Uh, you know, how would I get all these things done? And, uh, you know, it's just amazing, uh, amazing. But besides that, I mean, what a great spirit around the kids. I mean, he, he can walk into a room, look up at the video, and within a second he can tell you exactly what's going on. When talking to the Cougar players, it doesn't take long to figure out Coach Walsh has the respect of the entire team, and especially his position group. Go through it, go through all you want around it. The moment I think about complaining, I'm like, nope, I'm not going to do it. He gets the respect. Not because he's in a wheelchair, he gets the respect because of his knowledge and, uh, and, and how he can teach the game. Whether it's 100 degrees outside or pouring rain, Walsh is on the field to fulfill his duties without one ounce of complaint. I think perseverance is, is a great lesson that we learned through athletics, a great lesson that was taught to me from, by my parents, my coaches, my teachers and all that. And, and so, you know, hopefully that, that's a lesson that, that, that carries over. And then for them to be able to see, uh, you know, me in a wheelchair, uh, me facing different challenges uh, to be able to, uh, to to know that they can persevere. It's okay if you mess up going 100 miles an hour because it's effort and effort is what the main thing is and perseverance is like getting back up and coming back to the next play and not worrying about what happened in the past. Now run, now run, now run. Walsh's ability to relate to players is uncanny, but his positive attitude is what makes the assistant coach such an asset to a program that hasn't missed the postseason since starting up in 2012. The people that I've, I'm gotten to meet and that I'm with, uh, my my wife is the most beautiful and amazing uh, woman in the world. Uh, my two children who I would uh, you know know what to do without them. Um, so so I am extremely blessed. And so is College Station to have a coach dedicated to impacting players' lives beyond just the X's and O's of the game. I think how he's able to communicate with kids and the attention he can get out of the kids by, you know, they're going to pay attention to him. He's a very quiet-spoken uh, man, but at the same time, uh, you know, you can hear a pin drop when he's talking to kids. And as far as lessons that they leave with, the value of, of, of hard work mm -hmm. and, and grit and, and toughness whenever things, you know, are hard, to be able to bounce back and learn from it and grow from it. Um, I think is probably the most important thing that hopefully they take from that.